hit the nail on the head pretty, pretty well, but I just wanted to say a few extra words because uh, I was this big, my brother's biggest fan. Uh, a Bible verse that's, that's helped me find some solace lately uh, for all those hurting for the death of my brother is Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you with my righteous right hand. Uh, I really wanted to celebrate my brother's life. I, uh, I knew that I was going to be his best man one day and give him a toast. Uh, so this won't go exactly like that, but uh, still be a celebration. Uh, some of you knew my brothers as Will, Willie T, but uh, a lot of us knew him from a young age as William. Um, uh, he, all, he was my older brother, my first friend, my hero, and sometimes my villain in life. Uh, <laughs> my brother always had my back, no matter what, except for when I first came out of the, uh, the womb, I was crying as a baby, and he put a pillow over my head, and he said, Mom, can we take him back? Um, he th I think he had a little adjustment period, uh, giving up some attention from my dear mom. Um, we had a ton of good brotherly love of fun. <laughs> Playing football, basketball, baseball, boxing with just socks on our hands, spinning each other in chairs to make each other dizzy, wrestling with each other, among other activities like playing two-player video games and uh, a lot of Pokemon, in which uh, my brother was the true Pokemon master. Uh, he played a Saturday mornings at Books A Million and was beating like four-year-old men with goatees. He, uh, he had every deck possible. If there was a fire deck, he had a water deck. If there was a water, he had the electric. He just had it down. And he was a true, he won every single badge and he had this really cheesy bucket hat, like fisherman's cap, and he, he proudly displayed all of his badges. And, uh, he had like the trifecta. He had that cap, he had a buzz, and he had braces, and he, he looked just, abs <laughs> he looked not, not fantastic, uh, which, is, which is kind of funny because he had so much style going with the rest of his life. He always had, my mom got married recently, and uh, he, we all got purple ties, and they were beautiful, but my brother, to his style, he had to get it trimmed down to have a, the nice, cool, skinny tie to look fresh, and he did look fresh. Um, as Father Carl said, my brother was brilliant. He was super smart. He had a photographic memory, which I'm sure was a blessing and a curse. I've had some people tell me that he was the smartest per person that he's ever met, that they've ever met. He was brilliant. Uh, backtracking a bit, when my brother was four years old, he could read so well that NLU or ULM at the time, NLU, they, they wanted to watch him read uh, because they wanted to kind of study him because he was a boy genius. Uh, type, baby genius, and it wasn't, he wasn't reading Dr. Seuss, he was reading novels. He was reading Mark Twain, he was reading who knows what, the Bible, I'm sure, because of my, if he's my mom's son. Uh, uh, my, my brother, uh, and going forward, he had an incredibly high ACT score, he had an incredibly high I IQ, and he, he had full rides to like Tulane and all these incredible universities but he wanted to go with his uh, artistic side instead. So he went to film school uh, at University of New Orleans, and he made some really cool short films and really fun films. Uh, but after, I think, guess he was 19 or 20, he said, I'm too smart for this. I can find jobs that seniors were asking him for jobs. So he said, I'm, I'm going to get out of school, and he started working. Uh, side note, he just recently went back to school and was going to Louisiana Tech uh, to do computer engineering and he was flourishing. He got the award called the President's Honor List, which is an award that only a few students make. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna drop some names really quickly because, name drop, because I'm just so proud of what, what he could accomplish. Uh, he worked with a band called The Revivalists. He made a music video for them and behind the scenes tour style video. He was on the special effects team for the movie Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and worked with Andy Serkis, who the guy was Smeagol on uh, the Lord of the Rings. Uh, my precious. Um, but anyways, he was the cameraman for the BP oil spill. He was the first one on the scene as a cameraman for a major network during the BP oil spill. He filmed a commercial with uh, Sean Payton, Tom Benson, and Drew Brees. He did the promo videos for Anthony Davis and the whole Pelicans uh, basketball team. Uh, he was the main film, uh, film uh, cameraman for a, a ESPN documentary with Shaq, Shaq and uh, LSU famous basketball coach Dale Brown. He, uh, he was directed 
as, as a filmmaker with James Franco, and they, they did a commercial for like a Gucci uh, cologne commercial, which I can only believe, imagine how bizarre that was being directed <laughs> by uh, James Franco. Uh, he also uh, did camera work for, oh, he worked in, he, el he edited, created, and, and filmed a new age style hunting and fishing TV show. He did camera work for Essence Fest and Jazz Fest. He also was involved in uh, camera work with Justin Timberlake, gold med medalist, gymnast, Sean Johnson, Snoop Dogg, Kevin Hart, Carmen Electra, Sylvester Stallone, uh, Trombone Shorty, Juvenile, and others that I can't remember. Thanks for letting me name drop all that. Uh, anyways, back to Willie's brilliance. You could always ask William to help you with anything, um, especially for technology setups and help. He even was paid as a fourth grader to set up the sound system for, the, for Good Shepherd. And he was like nine years old. Uh, Jessica Johnson just told me that when she had viruses on her computer, that instead of going to a tech guy, they called my brother, who was nine, to go over to her house and fix the computer, which is ridiculous. Uh, he was our perpetual fixture of TVs, printers, computers, internet issues, and other technology endeavors. Uh, he even recently helped me with put a basketball goal together. And uh, it, was, it was a little bit surprising, a little complex, but he had no problem. But as big as my, bra my brother's brain was, his heart was even bigger, as uh, everyone here knows. Uh, throughout, through, <laughs> throughout my life, he was incredibly kind to me, encouraged me, and uh, just was a driving force. And I know so many people have told me that they still carry him. They helped him with confidence. They helped him believe in themselves. They helped him shape who they are as a, a person. And that, that just, that, that sums up Willie to me in a nutshell. Uh, Willie was an artist, a musician. Uh, at a young age, he took piano lessons and excelled so much that the instructor asked him to do piano competitions. To that, my brother said, no, thank you. I just want to do it for fun. Uh, my brother was also asked in fourth or fifth grade to sing a solo because he had such an incredible voice at Jesus the Good Shepherd musical projection. He obliged to that, and it was beautiful. My brother also played the guitar bass, keyboard, piano. He had a beautiful singing voice like I alluded to. And at age 16, he was the lead singer of a band called Rene. And I was so proud of him and it was so fun to see him in a band. And it was just so fun to hang out at his, his uh, their music practices and just watch him jam out. Uh, I believe Willie had no intention of hurting himself at all if that was a rumor. Uh, his latest favorite song from the Kid Cudi and Kanye West new album was called Reborn in which Kid Cudi's chorus says, I'm so, I'm so reborn, I'm moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Ain't no stress on me, Lord, I'm moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Um, although we lost a bright star and a beautiful soul, I think we should all move forward with love and happy, incredible memories of the loving, caring, truly unique, smart, passionate, and overall, incredible Willie, keep him in our hearts and our spirits. And I think that's what he would want. Uh, thank you to everyone who's reached out with prayers and thoughts and kindness. It's really lifted up me and I know my family. And uh, thank you guys. That was awesome. I invite everyone to